Hello foodies, welcome back. Today I am back with a very tasty, nutritious and spicy soya chunks masala recipe. At first I have taken a vessel and uh, added around 3 to 4 glasses of water. To that I will be adding around 1 teaspoon of salt, mixing it well. I have 200 grams of soya chunks which I will be adding it to the water and keeping it on heat for around 3 to 4 minutes with a closed lid. Once it gets heated up, I will be transferring all the soya chunks to the room temperature water. Now wait till the water gets cooled down and then squeeze it and add it to another vessel which is dry. Perfect, I will be doing the same for all the soya chunks. So once it's ready, let's prepare for the marination. For marination, I'll be adding 4 tablespoons of thick yogurt, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of chili and coriander powder, half teaspoon of cumin powder and 1 teaspoon of kasturi methi. Now mix it thoroughly, either with the spoon or with the hand. I prefer using my hands because I can uh, give it a good massage and mix it really thoroughly. So it's up to you as to how you all mix it. Mix it and keep it uh, for marination for about 10 minutes. Few other ingredients required are around uh, 3 to 4 tablespoon of uh, cashew paste, some coriander leaves for garnishing, 2 tomatoes pureed, 1 green chilli and 2 onions chopped it into small pieces. To a kadai, I have taken around uh, 3 to 4 uh, tablespoon of oil and I will be adding a uh, few garam masala for the tadka which is 4 cloves, 1 small stick of cinnamon, half teaspoon of jeera seeds, 2 elaichi and 1 bay leaf. So once it gets fried for a minute, then I will be adding the chopped onions and the green chilli. Now let this get fried until golden brown. Soya chunks is very high in protein, that is around 100 grams of soya chunks has 50 grams of protein. So this is a very high rich protein food, which is very good for weight loss and for digestion as well. Now once the onions are fried, I will be adding few other masalas that is 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of coriander and chilli powder and frying it well for a minute. After a minute, I will be adding the marinated soya chunks and giving it a very good mix. Then I'll be adding the tomato puree and the cashew paste. Perfect. Now giving it a very good mix. At the same time, ensure you add salt as per your taste. I'll be adding around one and a half teaspoon of salt. Ensure you mix it really well. Then I will be covering it with the lid and allowing it to steam for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes I will be opening up the lid and the masala and the soya chunks have been perfectly cooked. And this is the right time to add the coriander leaves. Give it a good mix. Now I'll be adding 1 teaspoon of kasturi methi and half teaspoon of garam masala. So these two are the final ingredients. Give it a very good mix. And then it's all ready to be served. Do try this recipe. We have had this with chapati and it tastes super yum. You can have this with anything. Rice, roti, kulcha, naan, anything would do. It tastes super super yum. I can bet you on this. Do try this recipe and let me know your review on the same. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Thank you.